character now, so I can let this run and run and run. Alright, what I just did, uh, make a new layer and fill this with black, and with this black filled layer thing, I want you to remember brush, brush scattering? Let's see if you can do it on your own. Take out a soft brush, three pixels, and then go shit. Alright, you know, I'm not helping you guys because I hate you all. Okay. Uh, Alright, there we go. And then you've got, make sure it's white, and you've got your scattered three pixel soft brush thing, and you can just sort of do this. And, uh, lower the opacity so you can see where you're doing this. I want it along his back line. Uh, let's get a little bit right here. Uh, you know what, this is looking really ugly. <laughs> I hate you. Hate you all. Alright, um, I, I don't, I don't really know who I hate, but I'm just saying that to everyone in general. Set this layer to screen and erase the stuff that you don't like. In other words, everything. Alright, so now I'm still running out of stuff to do. That's not incredibly difficult for you guys. Oh uh, boy, I hate you all. Uh, I'm going to go back and just erase some stuff that I don't like, like this guy's cape, which I said would get in the way early. Who heard me? Who heard me say that it would get in the way? I did. Alright, so anyway, I just got rid of that, because I don't like that. Now let's work with the background a little bit. Alright, so create a new layer above this, and, and this is fun as heck. You guys are going to love this effect. I made this like a few days before I left for vacation. Some of you know I went on vacation, like other people I don't really know. Okay, on a new layer, down near the bottom, make some white circles. Oh wait, make sure to turn off your scattering and stuff or else you're going to end up looking like a complete idiot. Alright, as soon as you got that, go filter and then brush strokes sprayed strokes and turn both of the things to max and you notice you got a little bit of black so you're gonna have to alright now hold control and hit F to repeat the filter and keep doing this till you see some black going places you know what I only see it over there this is starting to look strange alright there we go until you got it nice and messed up you know I have no idea what this thing is doing so let's erase all of this forget I said a word uh, let's retry it basically do the same thing that I just did only don't mess up and spray strokes alright there we go now it's working then invert it with control I and you've got this crap here go over here and turn down the opacity a bit. Yeah, you know, this is flowing in the wrong direction, so I'm going to transform, and then you can't see it, so this is already starting to... Oh, here we go, flip it that way. And now it works. There we go. I hope I'm not starting to bore you guys, but deal with it. Alright. Um... Who do who do who? Just give me like ten seconds. Do do. All right. Uh. Okay. This is another nice effect. Uh. Make one brush in white. Filter. Uh. What is it? Distort. Wave. And it opens up this complicated looking thing. Don't do a thing to it. Just under type hit square, and then hit OK. And you've got all these little boxes. Uh, now, I would either set this to overlay, which is what I do normally, but you can't really see it because it's so dark. So I'm going to set it to... What shall I do? What did he do? Alright, uh, normal, and I'm just going to turn down the opacity a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Alright, so you see this is starting to look awful and worse and stuff. So we're going to eventually have to pull this out of the fire. 
really, really fast. Alright, but for now, I'm just going to keep rambling. You guys stick with me, enjoy yourself. Alright, um, for, for all you guys who know that I make signatures, this is basically what I do every time I make something. I'm always just like, what do I do next? What do I do next? I'm so lost. And, and you know what? You, you know. I mean, I just sort of end up with a strange looking signature. And let's see. Thinking of things I could do right now. You guys bored yet? Alright, um. You know what? <laughs> Go ahead and rate this video a failure, but I'm gonna put it up anyway, because I love myself. Alright, go. Here, I gotta drag this up so you can see it. Alright, this little square thing, uh, it's a circle. Half of it is black, half of it is white. This is, like, the most important thing in Photoshop, making signatures. Alright, click on this, and then, oh man, you can't see the menu either. Uh, I hate my screen recorder. It doesn't record the whole screen. Alright, there we go. And then it opens up this little thing here, thingy. Click on gradient map. These things are great. I love them. They're like pot, but not. Alright. And then uh you do a black and white gradient, which turns this all black and white. Now, go to instead of setting it to normal, put it to luminosity. This is basically like increasing the contrast, but it does it without making it look awful. And go back, do another gradient map. This time let's make it Sorry. Uh, let's try a yellow to purple, and then you gotta reverse it so it looks good. And you notice how how you see this? It's got so few highlights and so many yellow spots, you know, which it highlights, and then too many shadows, not enough highlights. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, th I thought I said that wrong for a second. All right, set it to soft light, and turn down the opacity to. 60%. Alright, you notice it's still looking kind of bad, so I'm going to have to cheat. I told myself I wouldn't do this, but I'm going to anyway. Alright, go File, Place, and then, alright, go to like some place that has C4D renders and choose one. I'm going to use my favorite one here. Alright. Basically, this is like the greatest C4D ever. Notice it's got all that detail and stuff. Place one and set it to linear dodge. Oh yeah, look at that. It's already starting to look better, don't you think? And I uh, control shift U so it's not all erg, if you know what I mean. Erase stuff that's over his face. And erase some of the stuff on the sides because we're going to use those eventually. Alright, now we need to start shifting focus to the render, which is uh, that's called focal point. And right now I'm just going to find which layer had my little circles, because they're starting to get too prominent. I'm going to turn down the opacity to like... You know, why is this still looking like perfectly weird? Alright, um... Oh, okay, that's why. Because it was the wrong thing. This, no, it's this layer, isn't it? This one? Uh, see, you guys, I'm slowly losing my mind. Alright, there we go. I'm going to turn that down to, like, 28. I'm going to turn it back up. You can't really see anything. There we go. Alright, I like that. Alright, and uh, since beginner stuff still isn't working nicely, I'm going... Steve, go away. Um create a new layer and on this new layer <sighs> my brother's trying to shoot me with stuff and it's really annoying alright you know he just completely threw off my train of thought what am I gonna do next I was gonna do something something cool and I forgot what it was shoot Steven I hate you go away uh... <laughs> I love my brother so much You know what, I, I should seriously just pause this and go beat the crap out of him, but I'm not going to. Because I'm trying to be nice for once. 
Oh yeah, th 